Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back, going to review for This time, we have this new hero. It's Steve McManaman. Now, I've been excited to use this card from the start. I'm not sure why. I just feel like he would be good in game. But we'll go through it then. So on stats then, so he's six foot tall, got the high medium work rate, he's got the four star skills, four star weak foot with his preferred foot of the right foot. Now in those nine games that I played, I think they were all rivals, I got 13 goals and six assists, I think at the time it was about Div 2, I can't remember now because I've gone up since then. On alternate positions, he can play the right mid, the right wing, the camp and the left mid, so he has got a nice variety. And since he's Prem, a lot of people will probably have their eyes on this card or want to use him since he's quite cheap as well. Now, on stats then, so you've got the 89 pace, the 77 shooting, the 84 passing, the 87 dribbling, and the 77 physical. So, on paper, looks like quite a nice well around the card no matter where you play him. Now, on his chem start, I had to go with the finisher just to boost up that agility and that finish a little bit more, but I'll speak more about that after. So, on player traits, he's got the uh, chip shot, which is quite nice, the technical, which is his best one in my opinion, but again, I'll talk about that after. First touch, which is another good one, and he also has Relentless, which is, again, another good one. He has very good traits, but will they perform in game? I'll tell you after. If you do enjoy the clips or want to see more, please do subscribe. It generally, generally does mean a lot to my channel, and I'll see you after. Peace.
on to my other thoughts about the card. Now, this segment, I talk about what's good, what's bad about the card, what you should and what you shouldn't do. So you eliminate these errors with the card so you don't do the same mistake that I did when I was trying them out. So, first me kicking off is the 4 star 4 star. Now, over of this, really consistent. Obviously, I've not really utilised the best of skills yet. I don't really know what's the most overpowered 4 star skills. So you won't really see me doing too many skills. But it is there, no matter when you use them in the game. So that is really nice. Now, the 4 star we thought... It's actually quite dependable on this card. Obviously, we had a few inconsistent ones here and there. But overall, I generally didn't think it was that much of an issue, personally. Now, the pace to me, especially with that technical dribbling style, is actually really good. The sprint speed, especially, he would be able to get through on goal. And the defenders would really not be able to catch him at all. Because a lot of the time, it's switched where the acceleration is fast and the sprint speed is low. But this is the other way around. So, he really does burst through on goal. And then when you get him through, I don't think he's getting caught by many. Now, the shoot of me. I was pleasantly caught off by this card. I didn't expect much from the finishing of this card. Maybe it'll change from person to person, but when you add the finishing chem style, that finishing goes really nice and very, very consistent. And I would honestly argue just as consistent as Berbatov when that was Berbatov's probably best attribute. Now, with the attack positioning, maybe this is why the runs were so good through on goal, especially when you've got like a De Bruyne's player's incisive passes through. Really, really good. He would get from goal on his own, slot through the gap, and then obviously he's got the finishing score. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is why I do reviews. He doesn't look like he's good at shooting, but it actually really is, and I was pleasantly caught off guard. Now, the passing for me, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. It's good enough to play him wherever you feel like, really. And this is why I feel like he's got a lot of variety, because you could play him count with that stamina, you could play him the left, you could play him the right, and you could obviously also play him up front. Now, the drilling for me, although his agility isn't really amazing, that technical just makes up for it massively. And when I say the drilling, I mean that agility stat, obviously. Um, overall, it didn't really, like, have too many issues. When dribbling, especially if you hold the R1, he just glides through, especially in 6 foot tall. It just feels just like a cheat code, really. I don't really know how this card is cheap. Maybe because people haven't used them, they just look at base stats. But, overall, really good. The balance and the strength... One of his worst attributes, he's not very good at either of them, and he will get pushed off very, very easily. Now, next of me is his physical attributes. So he's got the 72 jumping, and he's got the 66 head accuracy. So he's definitely, definitely not an aerial threat. I wouldn't recommend that at all. He's a more pass it to his feet and drill with him kind of player, or pass it off and then spray it off to someone else wide or something like that. He's a very good link-up man, really. Now, the stamina for me is one of his best attributes, especially since he has a relentless. So we can, like, I think it's the relentless is where, like, they're not tied at half time. He gets more stamina pretty much, which is really, really nice because he can just run pretty much the whole game then and including extra time, which just makes it a really good card. Now, as I've already talked about, the strength is a little bit low and that aggression, again, is a little bit low. I would want a little bit higher than that just to hold off these big centre backs. So, one of my other scores about the card then. Now, first, me kicking off is the pace. And overall, for the pace, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I do think it's that good. I was tempted to give it an 8.5, but on second thought, that acceleration and that sprint speed combined, especially as his high sprint speed, which is quite rare on attacker, I did actually really enjoy that, and he will get through and keep that pace quite nicely. Now, the shooting for me, pleasantly surprised, as I said. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 for this. Obviously, you'd have this odd inconsistent shot with that shot power, a little bit low composure and a little bit low finishing. Like, the odd one might miss really badly. But generally, it's actually quite consistent, and I would highly, highly recommend that finisher, just to boost up that agility a bit more, especially that technical uh, playstyle. Now, the passing for me, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. I do really think the passing is adequate enough, depending on where you play him. Even at Cam, I feel like with a few more passing traits, he could be a really good Cam. Don't get me wrong, he's not a bad Cam, but I feel like his third position would maybe be more like a, a wide or a striker, personally. But he hasn't got the ability to play anywhere, it feels like, really. Now, the dribbling, as I've already talked about, that technical dribbling stat just makes him so, so good. And actually, the dribbling attribute in itself, really, really good. Uh, the reactions didn't have an issue with the ball control. He trapped it really nicely, especially with that play style. And I already talked about the composure. It's not too bad, but it's not amazing. Now, the physicals for me, the one that matters most here is that stamina. And since he has that relentless as well, I'm going to give this a 8 out of 10 as well. It's a very consistent card overall. And honestly, I would argue he's better than Cole in my opinion, or close to Cole. Like, they're very, very similar. Maybe Cole looks better on base stats, but in-game, they're very, very similar cards. Maybe because that gold um, play style that Cole's got, it may edge him a little bit. But overall, it's very, very equal, I should I say. So, on overall score from then, I'm going to give him an 8.2 out of 10. Now, do I think he's worth it? A 
absolutely yes. I'm going to see him in 9.5 out of 10. He's very, very slept on this card, and I feel like a lot of people won't even use him at all. But if you can pick him or you got a hero pack, you may be like, oh, it's, it's an L. It's definitely not. If you've got like a cheap kind of team or a few players that are a little bit meh, he would definitely fit in over them, and he's actually a really good surprising card in game. Well, that's all for my viewers. Always hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do subscribe. It generally does mean a lot. But I've got nothing more to say, so I'll see you next to you, and peace out, guys.